welcome back to Paint Provence with Tess, lesson four of my painting tips. So on the last lesson we just did some very basic um, techniques, wet on wet, dry on wet, dry on dry and wet on dry and this week we're going to do some more techniques. We're going to do a nice wash, I'm going to show you a wash, seascape, skyscape um, and some what am I, spun, sponge work. So let's uh, get your paints out and your water and get prepared for the next part. So one thing to remember, just as a tip, is always to have plenty of clean water at hand and always keep your water clean and your brush is clean. So now we're just doing a wash. And it's going to be our skyscape and our seascape. And I'm just going to make a, a wash for the sea, which I'm going to do a bit of cobalt blue. There we are. Maybe a bit of ultramarine. Actually, that's the sky, sorry. <laughs> and this is the sea with the Prussian blue. There we are, that's better. So I've got my mixes. I've got my wet on wet. Clean my brush. I'm going to use this brush, the flat brush, for the wash. I'm going to start with my sea, which is it's a moody sea. And when I'm working with a C, say I'm deciding on my horizon point, which is going to be halfway up, I'll start at the bottom, where obviously the paint will be stronger. And as I go up, it'll become fainter and fainter and fainter, maybe too faint even. So I'm just going to go over it again with a bit more pigment. Otherwise, we'll just have a disappearing painting. So there's my little seascape. And I'm going to do my skyscape. And I'm going to start at the top because, as you know, when you look outside and look to the sky, the sky is much denser in colour above. And as it comes down, it gets paler and paler and almost turns into a yellow. So on this wash, and washes are pale anyway, we're going to start at the top and go down. I might have to, I'll see how it goes, have to put a bit more pigment in. So I'm just going to go down over that once more. When you're doing this, keep your brush, uh, the same pressure on your brush all the way through. Don't squish it one end and then let it go. And I always do from side to side. So here we have my little, the beginnings of my little seascape and skyscape. And this is what is called a wash. Now what I'm going to do with it is build into it a little bit. So I want my C to be stronger and have more sort of more body to it. So I've dunked my paintbrush into the Prussian blue, into the pigment. And I'm painting in pretending waves and I'm keeping a little gap in between. And I just go to my horizon. It's all very simple of course but it's better to keep it simple to start with and as we go along we'll get more adventurous. Now I'm going into my sky which I'm going to give more body to as well. So lovely 
This is a mixture of ultramarine and colbert, which I love for a sort of moody Mediterranean sky, which is, of course, the sky that I live with and love. And then, voila, you see how beautiful that is. And now I want to create a few clouds and this I do by using kitchen paper and I literally, as you can see what fun it is, I'm going to have a few cumulus clouds just drifting off. Do, 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 do. There we are, maybe one up there. And here, this is all still wet so I can really work with it while it's wet. And if I let it go dry then I can't. So here, this is all dried because of the paper. So if I put paint this side, it wouldn't spread. So this side would be dry and this side is still wet. So I can do some delicate, actually it's dried off a bit. Some delicate And as you can see with clouds, when you look at them, they've got a very darker bottom and they have top and usually the bottoms are quite flat. So there we have a little sea and skyscape. Very simple. Thank you so much for joining me on my painting tips with Tess. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. If you want to come on a painting holiday, why not visit my website, paintprovencewithtess.com. Until the next lesson, bye for now.